That's why I'm here today to announce to you guys that we've done a deal for an eight-episode series that's going to air on TBS in uh, January of 2023. Who's got the first question? Hey, what's up guys? Lucky Punch Sports with another video. And today we're going over Dana White's newest fighting promotion, if you can even call it that, Power Slap. If you've never heard of it, you are not alone. It's exactly what it sounds like. Two people stand in front of each other and slap each other in the face and give each other permanent brain damage. You get the same brain damage as boxing or UFC, but without all the useless skills and training involved. So starting off, we all know Dana White as the man behind the UFC, one of the most popular fighting promotions in the world. In 2001, Dana and his partners purchased the struggling UFC for $2 million, and at the time, the UFC was seen as barbaric by many and filled with violence and unnecessary bloodshed. Currently, the UFC is estimated to be worth $12 billion, and whether you watch it or not, or like or hate Dana White and the UFC, they flipped its reputation from brutal violence to elite athletes from all across the world, showcasing their unique martial arts skills. In 2022, while looking to work his magic and expand his business ventures once again, White created Power Slap. Power Slap is a fighting promotion much like the UFC, and the key difference is instead of martial arts competing in the octagon, it's two people standing in front of each other repeatedly slapping each other in the face. It took millions of dollars and many years to turn public opinion on the UFC away from a brutal violent beating. But now Dane is turning his focus towards power slap, and he's saying it will be a massive success just like the UFC. His exact words? We have more followers than every single professional sport. Every professional sports team, we have more followers oh, than, wow. than them. In 15 months. Wow. More than like uh, Real Madrid or like these soccer teams? I don't know about the soccer teams, but I would say yes. Dana claimed that Power Slap is the number one sport in terms of engagement online and made many claims comparing it to other major sports. He said it's ahead of every major sport and the WWE, a promotion currently merged with Dana's UFC and far more popular than Power Slap. And to be fair, Power Slap is still a very young sport, only three years old. Dana's been pushing hard to make it mainstream, but the numbers just don't back up his claims yet. Power Slap's biggest platform is TikTok, where it has 4.9 million followers. Makes sense when each match is essentially a few slaps and only a few seconds long. Not bad, but it's hardly beating any major leagues. For comparison, the only sport it surpasses in this space is the NHL, which has 2.8 million followers. That's a long way off from the UFC's global presence, let alone sports like the NFL or NBA. There's no chance Dana genuinely believes Power Slap is bigger than these sports. Even worse, White's original claim is that if you combine all of these sports following, Power Slap is still the bigger sport. We're number one in all of sports. And when I say all of sports, if you take the NFL, the NBA, the NHL, F1, WWE, and whom I forget, and added them all together, their numbers don't compare to slaps. Um. Yeah. Could you? Yeah. It seems a little doubtful. Yeah, you can doubt it all you want. The other aspect of numbers Dana could be referring to is its streaming numbers. However, this seems very unlikely as TBS dropped Power Slap after their debut season led to disappointing ratings. Getting dropped by TBS in one season is very bad, to say the least. Dana's response to this immediate failure compares it to the UFC once again. The deal that I just cut for, for, for Slap is bigger than the UFC deal we cut with Spike TV after the first season of The Ultimate Fighter. I don't give a shit what the media says about it. They don't matter. Dana says Power Slap has been unbelievable money-wise and social media, and that is definitely unbelievable. He's talking about social media engagement, but the reality is when Power Slap debuted on TBS, it averaged just 295,000 viewers. Not bad, but AEW, the show leading into Power Slap, was pulling in around 800k viewers. That's a pretty big drop off. After TBS dropped Power Slap, the show moved to Rumble, a much smaller platform, 
known for its lack of censorship. So when Danis's power slap is crushing it, he might be telling the truth that they're crushing it on Rumble. If you've been following combat sports for any length of time, and especially in recent years, you've heard a lot about CTE and the long-term damage that fighters suffer from repeated blows to the head. Whether it's boxing or MMA, these athletes face a real risk and permanent damage every time they step in the ring or the octagon. With Power Slap, the entire focus is on head trauma. There's no wrestling, no submissions, no chance to protect yourself. Just one person slapping another across the face. Fighters are taking direct, repeated shots to the head, and there's no denying the potential for serious brain damage. I mean, look at the clips. The sport has zero defense and they just take a countless beating to the head, disfiguring their faces and definitely their brains. The long-term consequences of this sport could be very severe for the athletes. And for what? These fighters aren't exactly getting huge paychecks. While UFC pay is often criticized by a lot of journalists and fighters, most entry-level contracts are 10k to show, 10k to win, 10 and 10. And it's rumored that power slap fighters are earning as little as 2 and 2, so only 2k to compete if you lose. That is a very small sum when you're putting your brain on the line with each slap. Criticizing power slap for useless brain trauma and damage to the athletes would be unfair and very hypocritical of me to say. I train in boxing and MMA, and I'm a fanatic in both sports who doesn't like to miss a single fight. Taking it back to the start of MMA, in 1996, Senator John McCain called the UFC barbaric and likened it to human cockfighting, which was the public notion at the time. Power Slap is currently receiving near identical criticisms as the UFC once did in its own infant stages. Most people assumed the UFC was too violent to ever succeed and it would fail instantly for Dana and his partners. 23 years later, it is supremely popular, worth billions of dollars, and continues to grow worldwide. To be fair, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon and say Power Slap will definitely fail. I think it's very stupid right now, but most people did when the UFC came out and look how that turned out. Two men slapping each other in the face might just seem as barbaric as the UFC did when it first began. Regardless of whether you believe Power Slap is ridiculous or is bound to fail, Dana is giving everyone a slap to the face by blatantly lying about their data engagement, revenue, and not protecting these fighters. Once again, this was a slightly different video than usual, as it was a school project, so let me know how you feel in the comments, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to see more, and support the channel on the road to 1k.